John Twist of University Motors. I'm going to talk today about exhaust manifolds and repairing, putting the correct studs in the bottom of the exhaust manifold. Very often at this point, 40, 50, 60, 70 years later, um, the holes, the studs that came out of the bottom of the manifold um, are broken. Uh, they've been drilled out. They've been dr drilled out on an angle. The holes have been hogged out to 7 sixteenths, a nut and bolt used to hold the exhaust pipe on the, on the bottom, and that works okay. That, a nut and bolt works just fine. I'd never do it um, because I don't like that kind of work, but um, it, it work, the, the utility value is there. You can certainly do it. But if you want to correctly um, get the manifold set back up, this is how I do it. We're going to come in close with the camera. And you can see that I've drilled out these holes and I've put in half inch coarse number two um, uh, grade two bolts, real soft bolts. So I've tapped these and screwed in new bolts. Then on the, on the back side, I've, I've welded across there so the, the bolts can't, uh, can't move then ground it off so it doesn't look too horrible. You know, it does look horrible, but with some paint on it, it'll look, it'll look better. Now I've got a relatively flat surface. I've put this on a surfacing plate uh, sander. I've sanded it all out. I'm going to put this in the vise and show you what I'm going to do next. I do not have my guide here, which is a piece of paper with the, with the three studs laid out in an exact equilateral triangle with the hole in the middle so you can get it. But you, you do that and then you put in a, a prick punch and you've got a place to start your first bolt. Then you use your special tool. This is my MGB special tool. Look at this, made out of a chunk of 2 by 4 Okay, just or 4, four by 4 and I've drilled with a drill press so they're absolutely straight. I've drilled out the holes and put in pipe nipples like this. Uh, so I, I've got them, all three of them straight. Then once you get a, a punch and a pilot hole started, you can line up your, your, uh, uh, your hole and use a long drill. Takes a, a couple people, line, line this guy up and put him, put him on so that you, you can drill at the right angle. That's what you're going for. If, you just, if you're just winging it and you drill three holes and you tap them and you put three studs in there, then the three studs are all at different angles. You want, you want them all coming out so you can get that exhaust flange over it. So I use this handy, handy tool here and use that as a guide. Now the, the equilateral triangle on an MGB is two and a half inches center to center on an MGA is two and five eighths. I found out after I made one for an MGB. Um, so I've got a, I'm remaking another one here, a little bit bigger. I, I, I've already got my, my pilot holes made here. I've just got to drill it on the drill press and get these guys pressed in. In that way, you can put this guy through. You get the first hole drilled. You tap him. Uh, you tap him coarse because he's coarse on that that end. Put put the bolt through. Get this guy lined up. Tighten him up so he's tight. And then you can you can uh, drill the drill the other two, and you keep it all in the same. The studs are, are, are all parallel, not off on an angle, parallel. So an MGB takes um, 5 16 studs, MGA takes 3 8 studs, and they're both, in both cases, they're coarse fine. Can't tell you about uh, MGCs because I don't know off the top of my head, um, but it's probably one of these two, me uh, one of these two measurements. So anyway, that's, that's how I repair an exhaust manifold. Once that's done, then you can either sandblast it and put some kind of high temp paint on it, which only lasts for a short time, or you can send it off and get it jet hot coated. 
That is so slick. And then it, it's just beautiful, beautiful from then on. The T-type manifolds came aluminized, uh, and that burned off immediately. Jag manifolds uh, came porcelainized, but after a couple years they get all those cracks in them, and then the rust comes out of the crack, and it ends up looking like a toilet in a cheap French hotel. Real yucky. Um, and then this, this is the, this is the, getting the studs in and getting those, sending it out with some bolts in it and getting it jet hot coated. That's a trade name. But man, that is the slickest thing. I don't know that there's any problem, l longevity with jet hot coating. I've seen it, I've seen it done for 20 years now and I haven't seen manifolds fail even within 20 years. I'm sure that there's a life cycle on it, but. Boy, it's, a, it's really sweet. So that's how to repair by getting, getting a, a triangle, this, this triangle here of, of bolts, and getting them all straight so that when you put the studs in, it's like really slick. So anyway, that's today's repair tip. Exhaust manifolds, MGAs and MGBs. So go out and drive your car. Summertime, it's summertime right now. Shouldn't shouldn't be working on your car now. That's that's what the winter time is for. That's why God gives us snow and cold weather. So you don't you know you don't go out and drive your car. It's a time to work on it inside the garage. Anyway, until then, safety fast.